Hey guys, it's Mackenzie for Cinefix on Movie Phone at the Sundance Film Festival, and I got a chance to see Borderline Films' James White. With his writer-director debut, James Wan really laid it all on the line with this film. Like other Borderline Films, After School, Simon Killer, uh, this movie is about a man dealing with his inner demons, and this time it's a slacker from New York who's still living on his mom's couch, dealing with the fact that his father just died and his mom has been diagnosed with cancer. It's a coming-of-age story in a weird, gritty way because you get this kid who's not able to take responsibility for his actions, and he's being put in this situation that's just beyond his scope of something that he can handle. As I said, the story is loosely based on Mun's real life, and you really see that from, I mean, even just the cinematography choices of getting up close and personal in everyone's face, you're really right up here, and you kind of can't escape yourself. I mean, that is the message of the film, is no matter what you do, he drinks, he sleeps with women, he, he tries to escape to Mexico, he does all these things to try and escape reality and escape himself and numb himself from the pain, but there's really just no escaping certain situations and no escaping yourself. And Christopher Abbott, who you might know from Girls, stars in the film, and he really comes into his own through the character and as an actor, you really can see that there's a lot more to come from this guy. I mean, we know him from Girls and, I mean, in the show we hate him, but in this movie you kind of grow to love him as a character that isn't the most likable guy. His mother's played by Cynthia Nixon, who does an incredible job portraying all of the ups and downs of cancer, from going crazy to uh, being incredibly angry to being trying to be a good mother and trying to set a good example for her son, and it really just shows why Cynthia Nixon has been around so long. Also, really great performances from Kid Cudi and a short cameo from Ron Livingston, who actually, during the speech afterwards, was brought to tears describing his experience on the film. It's truly a moving movie and and it's gritty and it's real and authentic and I definitely suggest that you guys go check it out. Thanks for hanging with Zitifix on Movie Phone and check us out next time.